Somebody well, ended like this, like with their hand right here, but it was a little bit too like right in between the cheeks and then they had to pull it up and I like- Wait, so where, where was it again? It was like right here. You, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I was like literally looking for it in the, in the yeah. video. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Temper Tantrum Reacts. Different type of episode today. Instead of reacting to World of Dance videos or performance videos or K-pop videos, we're going to be reacting to our old dance videos. Uh, <laughs> so I'm Emroy, the director and founder of Temper Tantrum. To my left is Brandon, artistic director, the villain of uh, temper tantrum <laughs> the villain of the k-pop community <laughs> uh, because he of uh, his very honest feedback and uh, like you, okay no he didn't please do not put it <laughs> I'm kidding, totally kidding, I'm totally kidding. he was he was giving feedback he never said anything about the artists <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to uh my further left is b-rock behind the scenes photographer uh cheerleader and mascot of <laughs> of temper tantrum Future dancer, the women be below me. That's a, that sounds terrible. <laughs> the women, uh, Nance, Nancy, Nance Pants, uh, one of the choreographers from uh, Donut Life Museum. Make sure you guys watch that video if you haven't had the chance to see it yet. And then Amanda Carmasi, who is one of the antagonists from uh, our, our recent shoot. She did an amazing job uh, and somehow still killed it, uh, even though we were at like six minutes. Before starting filming, and I was like, "Where's Amanda? Where's Amanda?" And then he was like, "Yeah, no, I, I just had a rough morning." You told I'll, I will, I'll spare you guys the details. <laughs> so, uh, with intros out of the way, let's get onto these videos. Yeah, we'll have a watch through. Then we'll kind of share our thoughts, kind of maybe critique ourselves, not because uh, it's not exactly our work, but our own our own performance. Uh. <laughs> I will be complimenting myself. Thank so, you. yeah. <laughs> Motherfucking ill. Nothing but compliments from Amanda uh, and her work. So, the first one we're going to be doing is Nike 3 on 3 Lovato. B Rock, did you submit that? Yep. Are Ouch. you in this? Ouch. Yep. <laughs> I'm the first, I'm the, you'll see. You'll see. Just we'll, we'll talk sure. about this afterwards. We'll talk about this afterwards. <laughs> okay. So, because I was also in this. So, I, I got this card to prove it. Okay. So, oh. let's get to it. Uh, adjust your volume on your end if you need to because it's a little loud on my end. Hopefully, you guys hear it on uh, just fine on the stream. Let me know. And here we go. Like falling on stage. Never. Oh, oh I, don't know I almost fell off stage. We didn't the see it. Down where he doesn't look good. He's Never. YouTube. All right, here we Never. Go. Uh, rolling. There are, the limit does not exist. <laughs> The limit does not exist. And here we go. This is old too. 2013. It sounds like it's close, but that's. It is close. Shut up. Dude, this was swag era. So people were. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hey, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, everyone wore was wearing these type of hats back then, man. <laughs> Dang, you guys dancing collegiate. Music? Okay. <laughs> this is from Drumline? Yeah. All right, where are you, Brandon? Uh, I'm in the great and the black tank wow, and black hat. Oh, okay, cool. Freezes felt rushed. Nice. Wait, where are you, Brandon? I have black pants and a tank on. Is he, are you in the front? <laughs> Damn it, Brandon. Center? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was CJ in this, in this set? Yes. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, 
Damn. College run. <laughs> Remember? That was just such a thing. Like, go. <laughs> Hey. Oh my god, everyone had a dubstep. Everyone had a dubstep, <laughs> dubstep yeah. section, man. Oh my gosh. And then you had to do the wide leg stance. <laughs> hey, I like that. God, I was I was so overhead ISOs at this point, man. I learned, <laughs> yeah. Er everyone was doing it, like when I, especially when I was in like a cipher, like ooh, like. I can imagine how hard it was to clean that. <laughs> I can only imagine how, much, how like, hell it was. Tent thing, you're like drenched in sweat. The hold. <laughs> hey, I like, the, I like the use of the floor here. I fucking. Props to them dancing with hats, because I fucking hate dancing with hats, dude. Nice. This is a re uh, this a remix? I like this remix. <laughs> hey. All right, attitude. Luca and Jedi. <laughs> Why is this so <laughs> Okay. All right. So, thoughts. It was I trash. Hate, it was kidding. trash. I hate. It was trash because Brandon's in it. <laughs> I hate when we tell people to wear like black and then you're like, these are black. And I'm like, no, those were black. <laughs> They're no longer black. They're kind of a brown color because it stands out so much when you're supposed to be wearing all black. And I was like, <laughs> as one of the directors on the team, I was like, that's not black. That's not black. And they're like, what's all I have? I hate it. I hate it so much. So for me, <laughs> visuals make a difference. And that always irritated me. But um, I don't know. You guys can talk about whatever. Somebody well, ended like this, like with their hand right here, but it was a little bit too like right in between the cheeks and then they had to pull it up and I like- Wait, so where, where was it again? It was like right here. You, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I was like literally looking for it in the, in the video. <laughs> no. uh, I hate you. I like it. I mean, yeah, this is definitely reflective of the era. Yeah. yeah. Like- yeah. Yeah. Uh, killed me. Huh? That was so funny. Every single person was like, dubstep! Dubstep! Always have <laughs> oh, yeah, dubstep. Yeah. They it's always that, they like, it, I invented dubstep. Like, everyone was like, <laughs> It's always that one part also. You get like, a set goes, yeah. <laughs> and, they're, and they're doing the fucking wide leg stance and they're like, da da da. Yeah. And I so fucking yeah, do something. Yeah. That. It's always I so like shakes to go <laughs> <laughs> transitions and <laughs> levels and shit but i really like how at during the dubstep part um how that one guy was in at point and he uh -huh. used that like that shaking like you know i'm gonna to go back into the formation to join the rest of the group I, yeah it, it just like, like something so subtle like that is like so sick at the same time the choreographer it's interesting because i feel like the choreography back then felt more limmy 
like da 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 da, like an, an occasional head drop pose. <laughs> <all that shit. laughs> um, but I feel like this generation, at least from, from what I recently saw, who, who I think I was watching like 2019 Choreo Cookies, it feels a little groovier, but with the same speed. Like, yes, m- two, like mid 2000s, early, early 2000s, a lot of grooves, big movements, then 2010s super ridiculously fast lacking some grooves because everyone was so like isolated but now it's a little bit of both it's like let's groove really fast now <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> it was like hey that's like because i was watching choreo he's like fuck that's clean they're grooving so fast and then they're doing their footwork i'm like how they're doing that while grooving what the fuck is yeah. happening yeah <laughs> stress but it looks yeah. good <laughs> yeah so but yeah it's also MRI's right it's definitely Fits this choreo that fits that time because it, like everyone in that choreo uh, that time period was doing like, yo, I'm gonna swag it out. I'm gonna go. Ooh, Every ooh, Filipino ooh, boy so hard. was rocking that a fucking new era hat. <laughs> Hell yeah! And fucking dunks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. yeah. New era hats. <laughs> oh, so you took that. Yes. One guy on your team like your collected the hats, and he would just like have a bunch of hats. Like attached to different things. It Just was there. Ridiculous. What? Stupid. I attached to different things. <laughs> it was just like it's he on his shoulder. One day he just had a bunch of hats. Like he had hats on his head, but then he had hats like attached to his backpack, and then like a bunch more hats attached to something else. Nah. One head. One. You yeah. know what? You let him be. Damn it. No. Maybe they all have meaning. He was sexy, like, so I can make fun of him. It's like how people would say, like, why do I need more than one pair of shoes? As you can tell, my little shoe tower next to my bed. Okay. <laughs> Neff from my chat says, I'm glad music has progressed beyond dubstep slash bro step. Yes. So, yes. Yes. And then, you the know, it's funny because I'm, I'm in a popping community as well. And apparently some people call this style of music, they call it popping or waving. They call it dubstepping. And... Uh, it hurts, and, 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 <laughs> but, and then, but then I don't know. I, I'm not part of the, I guess, popping community. I'm not active because. Are you part of the popping and locking community? Yeah, yeah I was just about to say. There, no, because there's <laughs> like I'm in that particular group chat. There's little literal arcs. If you say something like, uh, like for a while there was a fiction versus uh, I forgot who was uh, some OG in the community. It was a battle, and then David just made nothing but memes about it. But they also there's also debates in terms of history. So anyone from the co- popping community, please feel feel free to correct me. Because pop and locking. From I'm just pop and locking. Oh god. <laughs> pop locking. Okay, okay. So uh, let's move on to the next one. 